Hi there, Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So June is a very you know important month, just like what I say to every signs for this month, uh, because it is what is preparing us as the future events of july um enters in our life you know so june can be a make or break kind of month but at the same time it is also a month wherein there is a lot of confusion and a lot of opportunities can come about it is the month wherein we should be seeing things clearly and not just you know um, following through the illusions and diving deep into those illusions making us more confused and lost more and more you know it's about us overcoming adversity and seeing through um seeing through the illusions the illusions of life so that we can do something about it and we can move forward with life without any regrets so you know it's somehow a little bit deep but it's really not <laughs> but um yeah this is definitely going to be very important especially in terms of our love life and relationships overall so when it comes to love or any kinds of relationships the june month is going to be very important because of a lot of retrograde and you know when there's a lot of retrograde this is really making us be more internalized really thinking or considering and we might encounter problems here and there or our fantasies from the past can surface back again whether you repeat a history from the past or not is going to be depending on you of course depending on how you handle um, the present situation and how things actually move forward in your life so um yeah and when there's a lot of retrograde of course relationship is the first thing that comes in contact with you so let's see what's really going on for you for those who have their virgo in their sun moon and racing sign okay so the first card that you have over here is temperance card and being crossed over by the four of wands so this is actually a very very wonderful um start of the month uh it could also say that there is some form of unshake uh a shakiness at the beginning especially when it comes to your emotions because temperance is all about you know trying to balance something that is unbalanced that kind of thing but overall though i kind of feel that a lot of virgo people are quite happy with their life they may be you know some of them might be living the life that they want you know there is actually some form of blessing kind of feeling uh, and you get to see uh, the goodness despite of the lockdown and the COVID scenario all of the not so good things that are happening outside of us there's actually some form of blessing um that is happening in terms of you personally and it, when it comes to your relationships whether you are single or in a relationship or in a marriage um, there is some form of improvement happening over there there are some form of annoyances here and there and communication issues but overall it is telling us that you know there is really some form of productivity and some form of feel-good moments that are happening in your life at this time and i kind of feel that despite the fact that we are gonna feel a lot of eclipses going on um you are actually going to feel as if uh you don't feel the eclipse you know you might feel it 
on on a very energetical level but it feels as if things are really moving in very smoothly for you to the point where in you might not feel the negative effects of the planetary alignments and all of that even though other people might be feeling this energy much more strongly and for some people negatively more than you do so i hope that is clear this is a month we're in you know there's actually opportunities in progress in your life and you will see this you will see this um with your relationships there is some form of progress that are happening um and sometimes though you know you'll see progress with how you communicate with your loved ones as well so it feels as if everything is really working out the way that it should i do see that there's a lot of progressive movements happening in in terms of your love life and this is really you know giving you some form of spark and hope and enthusiasm and this is a good thing however we do see here that you know there is also a chance we're in maybe you're seeing one side of a coin and you're not seeing the entire picture there is a possibility that you sink into the idea of you know what feels so good and i kind of feel that you need to um make a decision for yourself of what kind of feel good moment do you really want to happen in your life do you want a short term happiness or do you want something that's long term because i kind of feel that you know yes you are feeling happy you're feeling inspired you're feeling so emotionally enlightened you know there is something that is really making you happy making you feel inspired but at the same time it gives me a feeling that you know the situation that you have right now is not really something that you should be entirely happy about um i kind of feel that you know only those who really are tuning into my reading will definitely understand the message that i'm trying to give so this since this is a general reading i tr i will try my best to give you guys more insights and explanation why i'm saying this but uh basically what because of some form of uh cards over here that is you know giving in some form of it's like there is energy of struggle you know it's like you maybe you are in a relationship with someone or you are communicating with someone um that is not really a commitment you are doing things like as if you guys are a couple but actually you're not and there's no strings attached so um and maybe you you are seeing the progress in that you know one way or another but there is just a fair warning here to to check in with your boundaries and don't go over the top when it comes to giving in to that person or giving in to love giving in to doing um, everything that the other person wants because maybe they're just uh i mean i'm not i'm not saying this because this is what the reading is saying is telling us it's really just more an example like for example maybe that person is just you know um being nice or maybe that person is saying things because they want something from you but you know it's just saying something without some form of commitment you know it's quite a bit complicated to explain but uh basically the biggest message here is that you need to make sure that you know the choices that you make at this time is something that you will not regret in the long run and, and it's more about what kind of happiness that you really want do you want a short-term happiness wherein yeah i'm i'll be happy right now i feel good this person makes me feel happy the things he say she say is making me really feel good but overall at the end of the day uh you will notice that if things are not really working out you know this could be just in the moment kind of thing and you're doing things 
that are for a long-term commitment one. Uh, it's quite a bit complicated to explain, really. But um, just imagine you um, giving everything to a certain person in your life right now, but that person actually is a little bit more detached or maybe they're not committing to you fully. So it's really more of that idea of should I really be investing my whole life with this person when they are not really fully being committed to me but I'm staying with them because I feel good at this time. It's really more similar to this kind of energy we're in should you really be satisfied with the happiness with the feel good moment that you are receiving right now without any form of commitment without any form of certainty and security or you should just enjoy the process and you know come what may those kinds of things because it's telling us here that you need to be you know you need to be aware what kind of happiness do you truly desire and what kind of happiness you are feeling at, at this time is it something that you know just for the moment or is it something that can actually last for the long haul and you know it's about you know realizing all of this and contemplating on what you want what you want to feel what you want to experience and what you want overall in terms of your relationships so it shows us here that you are very very emotional during this time but at the same time you're very percept perceptive as well you know it's like you have strong intuition and you should know um where things are heading in your life whether you are accepting them or not accepting this idea is you know going to depend for each person but it is telling us here that you know you know better than anyone else what situation you are in right now whether something is really healthy for you whether something is really good for you or not so this is really a month wherein we can you can start overall. Uh, this could be a scenario wherein you have the chance to refresh a relationship or to to reharmonize some form of relationship or to change the rules of the relationship. So for example, if you guys are in a non-committal type of relationship, maybe this is a time we're in, you know, you guys might be trying to 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 get an opportunity to make this relationship actually work with a full-on serious type of commitment, that kind of thing so it's really more of you being careful with the choices that you make during this time because we do have the five of swords as the outcome card of their reading and it also has this uh ten of spades so it's really more of a warning rather than a prediction during this time if you be more careful with your own emotions with where your inspiration and uh, feelings are being laid out are you putting them in the right place at the right time with the right person or are you just you know you know flirting around and feeling good without really thinking of any consequences giving all of yourself to someone who is actually not deserving but because they make you feel good that is the best choice that you can give so as long as you you know what you're doing as long as you don't give in to all of that fantasy and illusion you're not gonna receive this regret card this is a card of regret and a card of you know looking back into the past and then you know mm, working on some form of mistake like you'll you'll be in that loophole of what if what if things actually works out what it, um 
too bad it did not work out you know or you know this could be also a card where in someone betrays you and that can be very messy overall because there's going to be a lot of disputes and disappointment later on so maybe someone is not actually being truthful to you and that can create various types of burden in you so to avoid this outcome you need to be more careful in you know with your feelings with your enthusiasm you know so yeah it might seem as if i'm being negative about you being happy but it's not really that you know i'm really really happy for you guys that are in a very happy state wherein you're seeing a lot of progress um, in the situation but you know with a lot of neptune situation happening and a lot of retrograde it cannot be helped when people are being misled also because that is also a possibility and then you know once everything goes a wreck it's like it's like you get a whack in the head and blame yourself from various disappointments in life and from from not being smart enough not being guarded enough to a certain person a certain relationship all those kinds of things so so do not be so open to everyone do not trust every girl or every guy you meet just because they make you feel good doesn't mean that they are there for your best interests for the long haul since they might you know um give you some form of disappointing scenario later on i'm not saying that that is what you are going to experience but it's basically telling us here to just be smart you know and try to get a hold on with your own feelings and don't let them leak out and go out of control that kind of situation so there are things that you need to really take into consideration and i kind of feel also that the eclipses is going to be a major part of your life uh maybe the lunar eclipse time and the solar eclipse also is going to be very important to you we do have here the moon in the third house in the sign of leo and leo is you know very passionate happy joyful sign in the house of communication and and leo is a very dramatic also you know and sometimes the negative trait of this is that you know someone tells you something so grand and maybe you are going to believe them but they are just saying it and doesn't mean that they are really you know it doesn't mean that that is really the truth it doesn't mean that um that is really what they mean you know it's like maybe they mean it at a certain percent but it doesn't mean that you know it's going to be a hundred percent kind of truthful message all those kinds of things so you just need to be careful about that also leah is very passionate and sometimes um quite unstable also i mean let's get real on that um leos can be you know can roar like a lion can instigate a lot of things in your life maybe new beginnings and it could be something that can be very lasting as well it also means that there's going to be a busy time in terms of how you communicate with people but on the negative side this can also be some form of you know um arguments or unsettling feelings can come about when it comes to your relationships it will really depends um depending on how you are relating to this reading but overall this is a point wherein you know everything is running by emotions and everything is running by passions so you just need to um 
you, you, you cannot believe everything that you hear and see but at the same time it's not also wise for you to to always assume something something negative that is going to happen when they are not really happening you know so it's like conspiracies you know people thinking of something but even when they haven't really occurred yet and maybe they won't so um it's really very important for you guys to be ve- to 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 have balance in life to be very balanced to meditate and all that maybe that is why you have the temperance card as your card for the month of june is because maybe you need to balance your own emotions and not get swayed by the influence of others or even with this video as well you know um a lot of virgo has have their nerves vi- very much hyperactive to a point where in you know sometimes they can be easily anxious and easily paranoid in the process you know so there are things like that remember though that this is a time of new beginnings you can actually um rebuild something when it comes to your relationships or maybe your image as well your image with that person or something in a relationship can actually transform and change for the better as long as you're handling them the right way and you're not falling into the trap and illusions of the energies that might you know confuse you all those kinds of things are going to be you know playing out a big role there is actually a good chance for you to to have the perfect relationship that you want i mean th- there is no perfect relationship but it's going to be perfect for you maybe you have been wanting a specific person in your life that you cannot get this could be a time wherein you have the chance to seal the deal and actually have the chance to attach yourself commit yourself with that person that you really really want you know again there are many facets into this reading and it's going to be highly dependent for each and every person out there so i'm just telling you guys all the possibilities that might occur Other than that, that is it for the reading. I do see a lot of progress and just a little bit of cautious here and there and you should be fine, Virgo. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this reading will give you insight and clarity to your situation. Remember that this is a general reading, so it is meant not to tune in for each and every Virgos out there so just keep that in mind um, if you'd like a more personal reading specifically for you though you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month goodbye